here i have a right circular cone to explain you how the conic curves are obtained with a base circle radius of r an imaginary line joining its apex to the center of its base circle is known as the axis of the cone a straight line on the surface of the cone joining the apex to a point on the base circle of the cone is known as the generator of the cone it is called as generator because when it is rotated about the axis keeping the angle between them constant the generator generates a conical surface when the cone is cut by a cutting plane parallel to its base but not passing through its apex then the shape of the cut surface is a circle when the cone is cut by a cutting plane inclined to its base at an angle smaller than the angle made by its generator with the base the shape of the cut surface is an ellipse when the angle made by the cutting plane is equal to the angle made by the generator with the base the shape of the cut surface is a parabola when the angle made by the cutting plane is greater than the angle made by its generator with the base the shape of the cut surface is a hyperbola when the cutting plane makes 90 degree with base circle and passes through the center of the base circle the shape of the cut surface is an triangle my cute penguin dressed up with conic curves is very much eager to know the eccentricity values of the conic curves consider a point p on the conic curve moving on a plane now eccentricity is a ratio between the distance of point p from focus and distance of the point p from directrix and it is always a constant so throughout the curve ellipse parabola and hyperbola obeys the ratio now consider the point p lies in the position of vertex v if vf by vb is less than 1 the conic section is ellipse next if vf by vb is equal to 1 the conic section is parabola if vf by vb is greater than 1 the conic section is hyperbola so the value of eccentricity is less than 1 for an ellipse equal to 1 for a parabola and greater than 1 for a hyperbola now we will draw the conic section by the given dimension and values using the eccentricity method We will start with ellipse with distance between the focus and directrix is equal to 35 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 4 and also we need to draw a tangent and normal to the ellipse at a point 30 mm from the focus draw a vertical line called directrix d d dash and a axis line perpendicular to directrix the given distance between v to f is 35 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 4 so the total path between v to f is 7 calculating the distance between each path we obtain 5 now the distance between v to f is 15 and v to b is 20 mm now draw a vertical line vc for the distance equal to vf use compass to copy the distance vf to vc join bc and extend the line to a appropriate distance now draw vertical lines at arbitrary points say for the distance of 10 mm meeting the extended line bc name the vertical lines 1 dash 1 2 dash and so on using compass take distance 1 1 dash and from f cut the same line 1 1 dash twice above the axis and below the axis and name it a1 a1 dash similarly mark a2 a3 a4 and so on by taking respective distances 2 2 dash 3 3 dash and so on and cutting arc from focus
draw a smooth curve joining vertex with a1, a2, a3 and so on above the axis and joining vertex with a1 dash a2 dash a3 dash and so on below the axis. You can use fringe curves to obtain a smooth ellipse curve. Draw another directrix d1 d1 dash meeting the axis at b1 at a distance from 12 equal to bv. To draw a tangent and normal using compass cut an arc at elliptical curve from focus for a distance of 30 mm. Draw a line joining the point with the focus and draw a perpendicular line to it meeting the directrix at point E. Join the point and point E which is tangent. Draw a perpendicular line to the tangent at the point to obtain normal. In case of parabola, the distance Vf and Vb is equally distributed which is 20 mm each. Follow the same eccentricity method which we used to draw a ellipse unlike the ellipse is a closed curve whereas the parabola is a open curve. So it is enough to take few arbitrary points to draw the vertical lines. In case of hyperbola, calculate the Vf and Vb distance as we did for ellipse. If you calculate, you will obtain Vf 30 mm and Vb 20 mm. Next we draw a ellipse using concentric circle methods with major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm. Draw two concentric circles of 100 mm and 70 mm diameter and divide the circle into 12 equal parts. From outer circle points draw vertical lines toward inward direction. From inner circle points draw horizontal lines towards outwards direction. Meeting the vertical lines drawn from the outer circle. Name the meeting points and you can join the points using your fringe curves to obtain a smooth elliptical curve. 